Equations and special symbols in Excel. You can do equations and special symbols in Excel. This is one of those features that has a more limited application, but is good to know, especially in, if you work in scientific or engineering fields, or for example, if you're a student and you need to write out a lot of equations. Um, normally, writing out equations in Excel is a pain because it's hard to get to subscripts and superscripts and to all those Greek letters that you use normally in math and science to write out equations. So Excel has several solutions for you if you should need to write out equations. Number one, for subscript and superscript, which is one of the most commonly thing, done things in Excel in engineering and science, for those you use the font dropdown. The typical example which I showed you before, let's say we have square meters. Now this is M2, but it would look much nicer if it was actually square meters like you write it out on paper. So what we're going to do is we're going to step into the cell. And once we've stepped into the cell, we're going to mark this 2. And we're going to go right here to home, to the font menu, and we're going to open this font dropdown right here on the lower right corner. I'm going to open this like that. And then I'm going to click the superscript box. And once I've checked that, my M2 becomes a square meter. And in fact, I can have this over here on top of my spreadsheet. And I can simply copy it and paste it wherever I need. If I need several designations of square meters, I simply do that. I copy and I paste. There's no need to write a bunch of M2 and edit each one individually. Just create one and copy it over and over again. In fact, create one for square meters, create another one for cubic meters, and then you can copy them all over your worksheet. So that's how you do subscript and superscript. Subscript, by the way, is no different from superscript. Just select the character that you want to send into subscript, go to home, open the font dropdown, and select subscript. Just like that. And now, you have subscript text like that. So that's the first thing you need to know if you're going to write out equations in Excel. The second thing you need to know is special characters. Where do you get omega? Where do you get sigma? Where do you get all those special characters that you need to write out an equation? Well, you get those right here in the Insert tab. At the very end, you're going to see this button called Symbol. And what that does is it adds special symbols into your Excel spreadsheet. For example, you come right here to font. Normally, you select normal text and you have subsets. Now, you don't have to select the subset. You can simply move up and down. And as you move up and down, the subset is going to change automatically. But if you want to jump to a section, you can select it right here and get to it way faster. For example, let's look for Greek characters. There's Greek extended here, which we can click on. And now we have Greek extended characters. Now right here is probably not what we're looking for since we have all these Greek characters, but they have all sorts of other characters surrounded in them. So let's try looking for mathematical symbols, mathematical operators, for example. Now mathematical operators, they show square root. Here's sigma, here's pi, here's delta. So if I wanted to insert delta, what I do is I click that one to select it, and I insert it, and there I have my delta. And I can close that window. Or if I wanted to insert another character, just go to Symbol, select the character you want to insert. For example, let's insert Sigma, and there we go. There's the character in the cell. And once again, just take this and copy it as you see fit. Or if you like, you can write other characters next to it, like that. That's the second way of writing out equations and special characters in Excel, using the symbol button. Now the final and most complicated, but also most useful way to write out an equation is by using something called the Equation Writer. And the Equation Writer you find on the Insert tab, here also at the very end. And it's this little symbol here, this pi symbol, which says Equation. When you click on Equation, you get this box here which says Type Equation. And notice that your toolbar changes completely and you get a bunch of options here which serve to write out equations. 
Now I can start typing, for example, x equals, and as I need the different functions, I'm going to select them right here. Let's say I want to do a square root. So I do square root. And now what goes inside the square root, I'm going to need parentheses so that Excel doesn't get confused. Let's say that it's y to the fifth power. So I'm going to select here script. And I'm going to select the superscript of y to the fifth power. So there we go. Plus 8. And as soon as I press space, Excel knows that it should interpret the square root and it closes the square root over the numbers that I had in parentheses. Okay? Plus 3. Plus, and let's say I want to add a fraction. So I select fraction and insert the fraction right there. Plus 4 fifths. And then I click outside, and now I have a written equation. And that equation is an object, so I can move it anywhere that I want on my spreadsheet. I can also step back into this equation and edit the different parts if I got something wrong. So that's the best way to write out an equation in Excel, using the equation writer. The equation writer also has another option here that you can use, which is really interesting, but it takes a little more skill to handle. You select the drop down here and you select this option here, which says Ink Equation. Now, Ink Equation gives you this box here where you write out the equation with your mouse and Excel tries to interpret what you want right here. So let's give it a shot. We have to write j squared equals 1 plus 2 plus 3 to the x to the 3. As you can see, Excel is pretty good at recognizing your handwriting. I mean, my handwriting here with my mouse is pretty horrible, but still, Excel recognizes it. And then let's try to add the square root here. And there we go. And finally, when you're done, you press insert, and there's your equation written out for you. So that's another way. It's much slower, of course, since you have to write out with your mouse. But I guess that if you're on a tablet or touch-sensitive screen, you could probably write that out and it would be much easier. Or if you have access to one of those Wacom tablets, you could probably write out equations pretty easy. If you're writing a math book or a physics book where you need to write out equations in the hundreds, it's probably a really good investment to use this ink function and to get a Wacom tablet. You know, you can find Wacoms for $50 and up, so it's a pretty good investment. So anyway, this is how you write out equations and special characters in Excel, if you should ever have the need to. Thanks for watching this video tutorial. If you liked the video, be sure to subscribe to our channel and to visit our website, cubicleoverlords.com, for more instructional videos like this one.